さほどにも聞かんわいお前はもう死んでいる何 Alright, so we're going to be buying the new Silver Surfer black uniform. I have been waiting all night for this.、Um, by the time I purchased this, it was around 10 in the morning. Oh my goodness, this uniform looks so good. So good. Look at that thickness. Alright, anyway, so I'm going to go through the process of、um, building this uniform.、Um, a lot of the uniform options I actually have. Um, the only one I'm missing is the Black Widow team suit.、Um, the rest I have.、Um, Scarlet Witch is at normal quality, so I guess I will have to fix that. But yeah, I'm, run I'm trying to show my build also here, like, just running through it real quick. Just equipping those energy attack Uru.、Um, I'm trying to cap out his crit damage also. I know he doesn't need crit rate, so I'm not doing any of that. Although the obelisk I have on him is a crit rate invincibility obelisk.、Uh, but yeah. So, this is the build that I have on him.、Um, yeah, look at that third skill.、Um, yeah, we don't need the crit rate because he gets 40% crit rate from his fifth skill. And we're gonna be popping that pretty regularly.、Uh, I don't have enough <laughs> kits for the, the type enhancement. But yeah, I'm trying to show my Urus here. I have two HP Urus on him.、Um, Two HP Odin's Blessings, one HP Uru. Just trying to cap out that crit damage over here.、Uh, just, just make some final adjustments. Trying to get it as close to 200% as possible. I think we are there. Yeah. Yeah, okay. So we're capped in the important stats crit damage, ignore defense, skill cooldown. Crit rate's perfect where it is because when he gets to 40%, he will be capped out. So, yeah, I want to run through his skills real quick.、Um, the changes are on his second skill. No, sorry, his first skill, his third skill, which gives him the coveted penetration, which means the CTB of destruction is kind of obsolete for him.、Uh, but yeah, look at all those. Look at all that text. So, his first skill, his third skill, and his fourth skill.、Uh, his fifth skill is untouched, which I think might be for the best balancing wise. But yeah. Uh, his tier 3 skill looks kind of underwhelming, but we'll talk about that once I tier 3 him. And I do intend on tier 3ing him.、Um, his ISO 8 set is stage 8, I believe, yes. Just trying to show off the uniform options I got on him here. I intend to mythic this uni eventually, so、uh, yeah. I'll list the uniform options here.、Uh, but yeah, in the meantime,、uh, with this rudimentary build, let's take Silver Surfer Black. Into some PvP action, which is where many people will want to see him perform. So, I'm going to take him into a fight against a Jean Grey Thanos team just to show、uh, how he plays without his uniform. So, basically, I think with Silver Surfer, it's about timing, really. Well, you know, okay, timing goes out the window when it comes to Jean Grey's fifth skill. That, that thing is cheating. But Yeah, you want to stay in your fourth skill iframe for.、Uh, okay, well, he's dead. All right,、uh, let's, let's try this again, okay? With Jean Grey, honestly, the odds will always be on her when it comes to anything PvP related. But yeah, like I was saying, you want to time that third skill to a skill where you will not be guard broken. So you don't use, do the third skill、uh, when, when she does her fifth skill. When she does her fifth skill, you just kind of hope and pray. But yeah, when you, have, when you have an opening, you use your fifth skill and then you go immediately into your fourth, your fourth skill where you can stay in an iframe. She cannot target iframes unless it's her tier three skill. But yeah, for the most part,、um, you'll be safe in your fourth skill. And then you can use the third skill to recover any extra health. So yeah,、um, you can see the Silver Surfer without a uniform can, can stand up to Jean Grace. I mean, not consistently, but.、Uh, He does a fairly good job. Against Thanos, I think he, he has a much better chance because Thanos,、um, I think, is a more fair character than Jean Grey. So, as you can see, he's really holding his own. Now, if he had a tier 3 skill to build up to, not, there, that, that would be scary for Thanos.、Uh, but yeah, you can see that even without a tier 3 skill and without the tier 3 stats, we get the job done. Colossus, no problem. Colossus, just a chump. Look at that. Third skill, wipes him out. So, as we can see, base kit Silver Surfer is already pretty good. So, how does 
his black suit uni fair in a PvP test? Well, we're going to find out. We're going to take black uni silver surfer against the same team, and we're going to run with the same tactics because his skills haven't really changed on a fundamental level. So we're still going to try to catch this gene. Okay, well, she's caught us in that fifth skill. We managed to get out though, so maybe... Oh, oh well, okay. I think I could have popped that third skill a little sooner. Let's see if we can get the fifth off. Okay, our fifth skill got cancelled, and then... Alright, do we have one? Oh my gosh, he has a regen. Oh, great. Okay, okay, we got... We got a kill on that. Let's move out. Okay. Mm. Nope, we couldn't go into our fourth skill, and now we are... Okay, I thought we were dead. Uh, okay, now we're dead. Um, hmm. Okay. So I kind of think I want to have a better showcase of Silver Server's abilities. So I'm going to compare him to a Thanos instead. Again, like I said, I think Jean Grey is a pretty unfair match because she can basically beat anyone with that cheating fifth skill of hers. So I think um, a fight against Thanos would be, would give you guys something something more to take away from it other than Jean Grey's Queen of Timeline. Um, so you can see, you can time the third skill when Thanos goes into iframe. He has two big iframes, which is his fourth skill and his fifth skill. Either of those skills are pretty good, pretty good um, times to, to hit your third skill. So yeah, my god, even Jean with her blast uni is nightmare god oh, third skill didn't, didn't proc would have thought one of those hits would would uh allow us to counter attack skill got cancelled again um if you can if you can land that fourth skill on gene gray that's really where the money's at and there you go silver surfer solos a thanos lead team without uni so yeah I'm pretty sure he can do the same thing, if not better, with his black suit uni. It's just you don't get you don't really get to see the difference against Jean Grey because um because a lot of Jean Greys are running greed or regen, which the penetration doesn't affect. Uh so yeah, I do believe that this uniform does more damage though. There's a chunky amount of attack that is added to Silver Surfer, which not only helps his damage against the characters but increases the capabilities that his Reflect has as well. So we're going to take Silver Surfer against the same Thanos team, and I'm going to show you that he can, he can stick it out with this Uni too. Okay? His PvP performance, I think in general, has improved with this uniform. Look at that. Oh, couldn't get that fourth skill off fast enough. We think we still got him though. He's almost dead. There you go. Okay, it took a little more than I thought. Alright, we got that fourth skill off. I don't know if you noticed, but I really do feel like there's more damage there. I know we died, but I think we can get the kill here. We'll get the kill. Nice, we got the kill. Okay, we're going to stay far, so she will do her auto attack. Alright, the thing with the auto attack is that's one of the skills that you can get the third skill proc off. And there you go, we killed the gene. Great, I think... I think a lot of it has luck involved, but a lot of it is also timing it properly. I'm not the best when it comes to playing Silver Surfer. This is just how I play it, and I think he's very reliable to use. So what I'm going to try to do now is I'm going to replace his Guard Break Immunity Invincibility Obelisk with a Guard Break Immunity Proc Obelisk because I want to be able to use him for both PvP and PvE. Now, I know the lack of an invincibility will hinder his ability in PvP, but that's a sacrifice I'm willing to make to see an improvement in his PvE performance. So I'm just looking for one of those proc obelisks I have here. I rolled one last night specifically to use for Silver Surfer. I'm just looking for it right now. <sighs> oh, there it is. There it is. The, so it's, an, it's a guard break immunity, max HP, 180 proc. Which is, I think, a big improvement over this crit rate invincibility obelisk because the crit rate doesn't help him so much. Okay, so we're going to be taking Silver Surfer into some giant boss raid content. Not because I can compare him, because once I use him, the entry will be used up, but just because I can. Oh great, there's a tier 3 Sharon we're up against. Uh, Cyclops lead, I believe. Did he have Cyclops lead? 
Yes, so, so Cyclops lead. I think the other teams, nothing to worry about. But yeah, Cyclops lead and White Fox support Sharon might be some tough competition. But you know what? Let's see how Silver Surfer fares. We'll do our best. So rotation for the PvE content that we'll be following will be uh, 5 into 4. And then try to get the 3 if they're hitting us. If not, just do the 2 for the iframe. Uh, so far so good though, clearing everybody and... I'm not on the proc. F I'm not on the rotation for, for when we can hit Master Mold. Uh, there's that Sharon doing so much damage. Oh wow! Look at that the sword. You know, in content like Giant Boss Raid, Silver Surfer skills look amazing. Look at look at the sword. Boom! Oh wow! We're so far ahead in damage. That's a tier three Sharon. How are we? How is Silver Surfer outscoring the, a tier three Sharon by by a long shot? All right, so we have the fourth skill on proc. Kind of a little late, and the third skill doesn't work, so we got frozen. Sure. Okay, come on. Five and four. Five, four. Yes. Look at that. Boom. Silver Surfer skills really look like epic. He really embodies the, the cosmic character idea. Almost there, almost there. Are we still outscoring Sharon? I didn't see her use her tier 3 skill apart from the, the that one time. Let's see, can we finish it here? No, we cannot. Okay. <laughs> we'll have to wait. But yeah, we got that done. Oh, look at that. We finished first in damage against a tier 3 Sharon Rogers. I wonder how well built that uh, Sharon Rogers was. So I went and checked the, the account of the Sharon that we were up against. And that account's pretty good. The cards are decent. It's got a 200% damage proc on the Sharon. I can't explain how we beat the Sharon. Um, maybe the guy just didn't play so well. Maybe it was an off day. I don't know. I just don't think Silver Surfer has the damage to uh, beat out Sharon in a giant boss raid match. But it looked good though. So I'm going to be taking Silver Surfer into some world boss content, which is what I'm most excited about. We're going to take him up against a stage 60 Cull Obsidian. Uh, we're going to give him the Dr. Voodoo lead so that his all defense down goes up to 91%. And we're going to give him Wasp's uh, passive so that... Um, the blade twisters are less annoying. So we go into the 5, into the 4. Look at all that damage. That's the all defense down working, but yeah. We're going to try to use the puddle to get the third skill off. I want to try to get the third skill off as much as possible. Uh, again, the second skill is the option uh, if we can't. So yeah, okay. Mm, that was when he would he, he was going to cleanse himself. So we try to get the all defense on back uh, after that phase. There you go. Time that third skill properly. Time Wait for the hit. Just to give him that little moment of paralysis. Boom. Look at those bars melt. And this is without the uniform. I'm 100% sure that with the uniform, this will just get so much better. But yeah, look at that damage. Sweet. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not planning to finish the stage. Uh, I think we're just going to go up to one and a half minutes. Mm -hmm. Just get it to land. It's so satisfying when he lands that fourth skill. Okay, the puddle didn't come fast enough for the third skill to get off. That's my fault. That's my fault. I'm not, I'm not playing to the best of my ability. Oh, great. He cleansed the, cleansed the ult evens down again. I think it takes a while. For, for the, all of for the ninety one percent all defense down to fill up, which is why you kind of get more damage on the second rotation of the all defense down. Yeah, I think this one's gonna deal a lot of damage. All right, so we went a little past the one minute thirty second mark, but as you can see, uh, we finished almost at twelve bars, uh, just at the end of thirteen bars, uh, in one and a half minutes. We're gonna round. We're gonna round it to one and a half minutes. So yeah, let's equip his black uniform uh, and let's see how he fares in the same stage. No strikers, I forgot to mention earlier, but yeah, no strikers. 
So let's see. Remember that was one minute thirty seconds, and he finished at just shy of twelve bars. Let's go. Fifth, fourth. Get the sword down. Boom. All right. Let's avoid the blade twister. Hit five, four. Oh, we missed the proc there. Maybe land a second skill on the proc here. All right, get the third skill off. Let's not use the all defense now because he will just cleanse it away at this point. Okay, now we can bring the all defense on back. That was a perfect proc. That was about as good, as good a hit as you would expect. Get out of the pentagram trap and land that fourth skill. Ooh. Let's avoid it for a while. Mm. I feel like using the third skill would have been a little risky there. Well, not risky, it's just it, risky in the sense that it would mess up the proc. I don't want to get off the proc. You know, in case cleansing right now. Oh. Let's see what the, I don't know why I used the, the all even sound skill when he was cleansing, but I think it worked out. It worked out anyway. It worked out. So, yeah, we're at one minute. We have 30 seconds left. We're almost at the point that we were at. Ooh, when he's using his spin skill. There we go. You, when he's using his... Oh, great. I was going to say when you when he's using his, his spinning attack, that's when that's when you can perfectly land your third skill. Yeah, let's get him hit us there. Get the fifth. Get the fourth. Boom. Would you look at that. And we just passed the 13 bar mark. And we have five seconds left. How much, how much damage can we do in five seconds? Boom. All right, so that's the 1 minute 30 second mark, and we finished at half of the 11th bar. So I think that's a pretty substantial amount of damage. Now we're going to take him against Thanos, uh, stage 50, which is a pretty high stage, I would say. So we're not going to do the whole thing. Uh, I just, I just want to see how much uh, damage he can deal. And we're going to use his... Uh, the phase where he summons Proxima and Corvus as a uh, barometer. We're going to see how long it takes for him to reach that, that phase. So, yeah. Uh, oof, still Blade Twisters here. All right. Running a different lead now. Didn't want to didn't wanna rely completely on the all-defense down. So I chose to have Nick Fury and Coulson here. Almost dead, but... Yeah. Yeah, that was a very, very poorly timed <laughs> tier 3. No, not tier 3. Third skill. Third skill. Uh, we still got there, though. We still got there. Okay. Uh -huh. I'm going to pop to 5-4. Oh, we almost missed the proc there. And, yeah, while you're in the puddle... You, you, while you're in the puddle, when you hit the third skill, it basically activates instantaneously. I thought we could get the third skill off on the orb hit, but we kind of got it off of his smash. So, but it, it worked anyway, it worked. Oh, great. I thought he would hit us there. But yeah, he went into... I think what makes the difference between a, a bad player and a good player when it comes to using Silver Surfer is really timing that third skill. I really like the third skill. Oh, great. I frame. I frame again. I really like the third skill because, um, I don't know, I, I'm kind of fascinated by the counterattack mechanic. How they kind of tried it on Wolverine first and then kind of developed it with uh, Bishop and then, then kind of perfected it, I think, with Silver Surfer. Might want to do a video on that one day. I, I don't know if anyone would watch that, but I find it really interesting. So we're almost there. At the end of the 15th bar, that's when he summons Proxima and Corvus. We're just trying to get that that damage so we can so that we can get there. I frame again. Good lord. Good lord. Okay. 
finally we got there we got there at two minutes 10 seconds roughly two minutes i'm gonna say you know what? i'm just gonna say two minutes just to be just so i can kind of wave off all the iframes that he did okay so now we're going to try with the black uni all right let's see how much faster he can do it because surely he can do it faster because of the, the, the amount of all attack that he gets Great, we missed the proc. We can get the proc on the second skill again, just to kind of clean it up. Terrible timing of the third skill again. At least I'm keeping that consistent between the two runs, right? <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Let's hit that five into four. I really do think the sword looks really cool. Okay. Mm. Yeah, I, didn't, I was thinking of using the third skill there, but oh. Okay, in the earlier one, I didn't want to do the third skill because I didn't want to proc. But I didn't think you could knock him out of the iframe with a third skill like I did there. Oh, wow. Wow, this third skill, I think my third skill timing for this run is has been so much better, even though I missed that one at the start. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, I'm landing so much of the third skill. Wow, look at that bar go. Come on. I frame again. That was a perfect proc though. Like I was gonna land that perfectly. Okay, this one's gonna be perfect. This one. Yes, come on. We're almost there. Almost there. Alright. So the, the uni shaved off about twenty seconds. Twenty seconds of time from his run. So do with that information what you will. I'm just presenting you uh, how much the uni improves him by. So my final thoughts on the uni, uh, which are kind of still my first impressions, I think. Um, since it's his first uni, it definitely gives him a very big bump. Uh, people will say that many characters, when they get their first uni, they receive a huge bump. Uh, in their capabilities and this is 100% true for Silver Surfer. I think without without a, a uni, I would rate his his uh, PvE performance as a 3.5 or a 4, or maybe a 3.5, uh, but his PvP performance would be around a 4 or a 4.5. I'll just say 4.5. So 3.5 for PvE and 4.5 for PvP. But with, with this uni, it, it uh, adds a 0.5 to each of them. So it makes him a 4 for PvE and a 5 for PvP. Uh, Thanos, I, to compare, I think Thanos is a 5 for PvP also and Jean is a 6. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, the buffs that he gets uh, from, with the uni are not are not um, so drastic. They're very subtle, and I think they're exactly what he needs so that he can become one of the, if not the best character in Future Fight. No, I'm just kidding. Jean Grey is probably still the best character in Future Fight. But he's definitely, um, he's definitely punching his weight up there, especially, I'm sure, uh, he will continue to do so when he gets to tier 3 for me. And I'm sure I'll be able to testify to that. <sighs> Eventually. Eventually, I will get him to tier 3. I'm almost there. So the Silver Surfer Uni doesn't give too many buffs. So if you're looking to spend on a uniform that gives a character a lot um, more changes and more buffs, I think you might want to pass on the Silver Surfer Uniform. But I definitely think that the Silver Surfer Uniform is worth it because when you get your Silver Surfer to level 60 or level 70 and you buy this uniform, you get one of the best characters in the game. And if you want to keep up with the meta, I think that's very important, which makes this uniform uh, very close to being a must-buy. So yeah, uh, those are my thoughts on the Black Silver Surfer uniform. Uh, I hope 
to be able to put up a video on tier 3-ing him very soon. So yeah, thank you for watching.